Hey Jodie, Scott from Hey You Guys. How are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm good. good. We've met you through Zoom, yes. now a real person. I it's so nice. <laughs> Thank you, I recognise you, you a little flesh. bit as well. You can't, can't beat it. <laughs> uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Um, obviously, it's a historical epic, but it's told in such a unique way with the yeah. two kind of unreliable male narrat narrators in obviously Marguerite's story. Tell me about reading that script for the first time and what drew you to it given the uniqueness of it? Yeah, well, initially I was like, okay, where is she? You know, and then I realised that that was part of their intention you know um for me i thought it was fascinating i thought it was a really unique way of exploring it you know you could tell this in a very different way and i'm not sure it would have the same effect um and it was also interesting for me because i had to know my own intentions and motives but then i had to really lean into the um you know legree and carouge's idea of who i was um and also give the actors what they needed from me in their stories so that was like a really playful part of, of doing it. And it was also kind of confusing, <laughs> you know, this, sometimes when I'm looking at really, I'm going, yeah, but have we got Marguerite? You know, can you just, you know, let me know that we have that. And then I can, I felt like then I could kind of push the boundaries a little bit. So, and it's so, it's so subtle, you know, it's so kind of nuanced in the writing and yeah, it's such a pleasure. Yeah, and I mean, it's a fantastic cast, but tell me about working with someone like Ridley Scott. He's been there, he's done it for 40, 50 years. Tell me about the thrill of that as, a, as an actor going to work for someone like him. Well, I mean, that's the dream, because I think, uh, you know, as an actor, as an actress, you're like, when you feel the confidence that a director has, you immediately settle and, and kind of breathe a little easier. You know, you know when you can rely on someone to tell you when to push it a little bit or to change it, or when they're not necessarily feeling something that you're intending to give. And you just know that he knows what he's doing. Um, you know, so that really gives you a sense of ease. And he has like four or five cameras rolling the entire time, which really forces everyone to kind of be really present. Um, and it really creates an energy. So when you come away from that, you feel so spoiled. When you get back to a set and it's one camera and you're like, oh no, we're gonna be doing this all day. Um, so yeah. Yeah, and obviously working with, with Adam, but also Ben and Matt, who have mm. co-written a screenplay, I haven't done it for 25 years. Yeah. Their record in terms of Oscars is one for one. So are you, are you in the, do you think you're in the mix for it, or do you, do you not think about that stuff? Do you think about the film and the impact it's going to have on audiences? Yeah, I think, I just think that all that stuff is so far out, you know, and the, the main thing is that people watch what you do and it resonates with them and they connect to it and... Um, I think that's the first and foremost thing. And so hopefully people do, you know? Yeah. And just finally, I wanted to ask you about the success of Free Guy. I think it's $300 million. People have embraced it. It's an original IP and Molotov Girl and your character has had all these amazing kind of people have been impacted by her. How does that make you feel that it's had an impact on audiences given that cinemas aren't still quite where people would like them to be? I love it. Because you know what I love about Free Guy was like, it was pure joy. And I feel like it was really what everybody needed right now. Um, and again, the fact that it provided people of that and it landed at the right time and, um, you know, it all kind of fell into place. The numbers thing, that means, not, I don't know what that means in box office terms, but great. Um, but no, it's, it's, you know, it's again, felt first experience being on a film set working with Ryan and Sean and they're just like the nicest guys in the world. Um, so it was, it was great. Ironically, it's getting a sequel now. You, you, you know that? Uh, You're trying to put that's words what they've said. I don't know if that's 100%, <laughs> but you know. I don't know. I mean, who knows? I guess the world is open to so many possibilities. Um, I haven't heard anything yet, but... <laughs> oh, Ryan. <laughs> what did you say? He hasn't told me anything, but he's just okay. on his Twitter. He's all, well, all the know, rage. Yeah, he's, he's been hinting. He's been, yeah, <laughs> dropping hints, but who knows? Fingers yeah. Crossed. yeah. Let me talk to you again. Thanks you so too. much for your time. Too. Pleasure. Bye. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!